All right, so welcome to the first video on my channel. I actually made a brand new channel here on YouTube. My channel name is Balasong Butterfly, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So a Balasong is essentially a butterfly knife. And in here, I actually have my very first butterfly knife that I've ever owned. So it'll be kind of an interesting experience unboxing this. I'm gonna actually use another knife I just recently bought. This is a Bear Ops automatic knife. Take a look at that. That's pretty awesome too. So I wanna unbox. Ooh, this thing is really sad. This is the first time I used this knife. This is like really super sharp. All right, so take a look at this. I actually got this from um, uh, Blade HQ. That's what I got. I was like, BHQ, what? <laughs> I got this from Blade HQ. Take a look at that. This is a Boker Plus uh, Balasong. Pretty awesome. Comes in a really nice case made in the usa uh wow take a look at this <laughs> this is pretty wild made in the usa in lakewood colorado that's like right down the street that's not far from where i live how crazy is that so who knows where this went all around the united states and came all the way back to where it was actually made that's pretty wild all right so looks like it has a couple Little tabs here. So first of all, I should say I've never had one of these, so I do not know how to flip one. And I was kind of going back and forth between the live blade, the sharp blade, and the um, the trainer. I decided to go with a live blade. So take a look at this, a nice little case. Wow, how fancy. That's pretty awesome. The zipper is really smooth. They used a really nice zipper, even though it's a, like a really short zipper. So take a look at this. Wow. Very nice packaging. I'm really impressed. So this was only, I think it was less than $80. I think it was like $79 shipped or something like that. Comes with uh, uh, Dutch and English, <laughs> two different ones. So here's the English one. Uh, nice, nice. Limited lifetime warranty. All right. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy. All right. And then it comes in all wrapped up. Look at that. That's really nice. So, so this, this knife right here, this one is the Boker Plus small version. There's different versions of this knife. And the reason I picked this knife, this is, I'd say this is one of your smaller butterfly knives. And the reason I picked this one is because I can actually carry it concealed here in Colorado. So, so the maximum blade length as far as concealed carry here in Colorado is three and a half inches. And this is supposedly has a blade length of 3.49 inches. So it was like this one was designed to carry concealed here in Colorado. So take a look at this. This is really nice. Has a has a slight texture to it. It almost feels like um like a, like a rubberized or like a hard plastic kind of a uh material on the outside. And from what I understand is it actually has the uh uh the spring latch here which is pretty interesting although i thought it'd be more of a spring that would stand up more it seems like uh it kind of doesn't really spring i always thought you know, it would spring like it would hold like hold the position right here but it seems like it just kind of flops around which is not what i thought it was all right so i'm going to open this thing up Pretty wild looking knife right there. <laughs> Look at the blade on that. That's a crazy looking blade. And as far as I understand, these are super sharp, super sharp. You could, I think you could shave with this. It's so sharp. I was watching uh, another YouTube video about someone who actually was cutting tomatoes and paper and a whole bunch of things with this. But yeah, it's, it's like pretty sharp. Of course, uh, I don't really have anything good to cut with it, but it's, look at that. <laughs> it is like super sharp, super, super sharp. 
So yeah, so I was kind of debating whether to get the trainer blade, which is completely uh, like, it just has a dull blade. Some of the knives actually come with two different blades. They come with the trainer blade, which is like a, like a fake blade, it's just dull. And then they actually have a replaceable blade where you can replace it and go with one of these uh, really sharp blades. So I'm gonna have to learn how to use it. That's the first thing. <laughs> and then I'll have to practice flipping on this thing. It actually has D2 steel on it. Uh, I really like the, the D2 steel. I've actually had some cheaper steels that aren't as hard as D2. And I've had some that are a lot more tough than D2. I'm actually kind of struggling with a knife right now. Uh, I can show you this knife. Take a look at this. This is a, a Microtech Ultratech. This is like my everyday carry knife. The problem with this is the steel on this is so hard that it was it was really sharp for a really long time, but now that it's dulled, uh, no matter what I can do, I can barely keep an edge on this. I sharpen it and sh I sharpen it like three times a week and I still can't I still can't get an edge on it because it's hard to even, with my electric grinder, even to grind it down to where it actually has an edge because it's so incredibly hard steel. I like a little bit softer steel where I can run it through my electric sharpener, you know, just like 10 swipes or so and get a really nice, super sharp edge on it. But yeah, that's kind of the disadvantage of having a, a really hard steel that's really hard to sharpen. Uh, a lot of people say it lasts a long time. Some people say, hey, just send it back to the manufacturer and they'll sharpen it. But I personally, I like to sharpen my own blades. So I'll have to see how the D2 holds up. I've actually had the AUS-8 steel, which I really like. It's a softer steel, which it keeps an edge for quite a while, but it's really super easy to sharpen. So it'll be kind of interesting. See, this is a little bit harder than the AUS-8 steel on this one. And then the, one, the other thing I really wanted was a pocket clip so I could keep it in my pocket. So probably the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to tape this blade. <laughs> I'm going to put some tape on the blade and turn it into kind of a pseudo uh, trainer. So I'm not working with a sharp blade all the time. So I'll probably do that at first and then get used to kind of flipping it a little bit. And then after I flip it and kind of get used to it, probably what I'll do is I'll take off the tape and then use this as my everyday carry up here in the mountains of Colorado, up on the farm. And I cut, you know, bags of feed and a whole bunch of stuff uh, with my knife. And, and I really use the knife a lot to where uh, it really wears down the blades really fast. I'm cutting like bales of, bales of hay and straw. I'm cutting the, the strings on them. I'm cutting the open bags of feed for the all the animals around the farm. And it really dulls the blade really pretty quick. I'd say within about three weeks using this every day, it'll be probably as dull as a butter knife. And then at that point, I'll probably go back and do some more flip training and try some tricks and stuff uh, without the tape on it because I won't need the tape because it'll be a little bit duller. So that's pretty good. I've heard this has a really good bearing system where you can flip it really easy. It feels really smooth, although I'm not good enough to flip it right now. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be a pretty interesting channel learning how to flip these knives and the, the differences between them. I was actually looking at some other bigger knives just to kind of get a comparison. I'd say this is, you know, this is the biggest legal one you can have in Colorado, but as far as you know, the, a flipping knife, this is pretty much smaller than most of your flippers out there because, uh, I mean, even if you look at the really high-end, really expensive ones, most of them have a four-inch blade, which is a half-inch bigger. Some of them have like a four-and-a-half-inch blade. Some of them are monsters, and you flip them out and it has a really huge blade on it, which is kind of crazy. And I've heard some people say that uh, if you have a really big knife that's really heavy and you keep flipping it a lot and flipping it a lot, uh, you, it can actually make your hand sore, especially on the back of your hand where you flip it around and it hits the back with the really heavy knife. And this one feels really light, super light. It, it doesn't have any weight to it at all, which is pretty crazy. I think this, this knife actually has a little bit more weight. See this one, I think this is like a... Uh, three and a quarter inch blade on my bare ops automatic and then this one's like a three inch blade here so you know three and a half this is like the maximum here in Colorado that you can have 
All right, so that's it. The unboxing of the Boker Plus. Really nice ballast song. Comes with a little case. That is pretty awesome too. I'd imagine most of the times I'll be carrying this in my pocket. It's kind of interesting with this pocket clip too because it's not really a deep carry. You'll actually see that it uh, doesn't go all the way deep. So the top of your pocket's like right here. So part of it's gonna stick out of your pocket, which is kind of interesting. This is really smooth. Actually, there is a spring it's definitely spring loaded that kind of expands and grabs it and turns it into kind of like a fixed blade right there and then kind of folds up like that pretty nice yeah it pops right open too yeah i gotta figure out which end to grab <laughs> you don't want to grab the sharp end so let's see which ends that's kind of deceiving because take a look at this this end almost looks like the sharp end when you first flip it open uh so the side you don't want to grab is the side with this little hasp on here and then the side with the clip so you want to grab this side so when it comes back it almost looks like this is the sharp edge <laughs> coming back at you which is really deceiving but this is the dull edge right here so this is the the working end of the knife which is pretty awesome all right so that's it my first knife that is a butterfly knife pretty awesome so I will definitely be doing some more updates when I learn how to flip this thing and taping it. That's kind of the first thing is putting some tape on that blade so I can use it more of a trainer. And I was kind of going back and forth between a trainer and a live blade. And I was, I was listening to a lot of experts and the experts pretty much across the board were saying that why would you buy a trainer if you could buy a live blade and then just tape the blade and then you'd have both in one where you can actually practice uh, as a as a trainer and then take the take the tape off and then you'd have a real knife instead of just ending up with a trainer I guess although it really depends on the laws in your area if, if you can't have a live blade a, a, a sharp blade then you might have to go with just a trainer permanently depends on the laws I've actually seen some where they have like bottle openers or you know brushes to brush your hair and stuff like that which is pretty cool then you can you know you can actually still use and train on it as a as a regular butterfly knife although it's not a butterfly knife it's just kind of a trainer all right so there you go I'm very pleased it fits really good in my big hands I am six foot four so you know with my big hands pretty good I was actually going to try it with these gloves on. These are my motorcycle gloves that I ride my motorcycle with. So, and if you flip it back, I don't know. I think you you might. I don't know if you'd actually hit the back of this or not. I'll have to try and see if this kind of takes off the 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 pain of flipping. For if you like flip for hours and hours, if it kind of uh, you know kind of absorbs a lot of the blunt of the knife with these kind of gloves. I, I haven't see, really seen anyone use these gloves for flipping a knife. Most people do it without gloves. And then on the other, <laughs> I've actually seen a lot of the pros. What they'll actually do is they'll t they'll actually suggest using a live blade full time from the beginning and never using a trainer. And they say if you do that, you'll actually have more respect for the knife because you'll get cut a lot of times and you get to the point where you'll, you'll really respect the blade and you'll be careful on every single move you always do with the knife. Although I, I'm definitely not going to go down that road. I'm going to tape this thing and use it as a trainer. All right, so there you have it. That is my first butterfly knife. Pretty nice. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. This is a brand new channel. I have zero views and zero subscribers right now, so you could be my first subscriber. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.